Hi Libra, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Libra placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the rows. And the table resonates. Libra doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations. And thank you for booking your personals with me. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, happiness, and joy um, on your journey to you and your loved ones. Okay. Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay. Somebody here could be mad, Libra. <laughs> Somebody bad. Oh, well. Let's see. Um, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones. Return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Libra collective. Protect me as I channel the messages here for Libra spirit, please. <laughs> okay. Somebody here could be jealous of you, right? You could be like single, independent, self-reliant, you know, but you're you're missing something. Okay. You have everything but a relationship, possibly, like a real deal relationship. This somebody here is already in a commitment, but that is that's fake. Somebody is in a commitment that's phony, it's fake as fuck, they hate it there. But they're jealous of you because it's like it's like they're trying to throw that shit in your face, like, ah, I got what it is that you want. <laughs> child somebody is fucked up and i feel like you about to get whatever this is so now they're trying to like throw illusions your way they're jealous somebody's like jealous they're a weirdo they're weird this could be some people in your family or somebody you got kids with even for some of you it's just like how the fuck you gonna be jealous it's because they know what the real is like they know they don't they don't deserve that connection they don't deserve much of anything really but they ass beat that's what it sound like <laughs> okay Somebody could be trying to cause illusions and, I don't know, around your home life, your relationships. Okay, inspiration, hopes, dreams. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I always get Aquarius with that card. Save yourself. Exactly. Somebody, you know, somebody's just jealous. It's not even about what you got or don't got. It's about your energy, your inspiration to others. You keep pushing through any kind of hardships. Like you're, you're grateful for what you do have. And you know that someday, whenever you work through whatever spirit needs you to work through, you're going to have it 10 times. And they're going to be stuck where the fuck they at, looking raggedy. Save yourself. You are enough. Solo path. Yeah, you solo dolo. Somebody mad because they got to stay in these fucked up predicaments and relationships that they don't even want to be in. They're too, they're too fucked up to, to heal by themselves. They got to be with somebody else and you don't. You got everything you want and need by yourself and they stuck with a family or in a family dynamic or a marriage where they, they both broke. <laughs> they both broke. They both fucked up and they both ain't healed. That's what it sound like. Okay, shit. The cards ain't even on the table. I'm like, damn. Uh, you know, that's shit what it sound like to me. Off your throne. Regain your power. Mm, let's see what else. Child, mystery. Okay, confusion, unclarity. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You can be on the cusp of Scorpio. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what bullshit is here today. Let's see what good shit and what bullshit is here. A good balance is what we need. Okay. So, um. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on. What's inspiration? Yeah, Scorpio strong. Or Pisces. What's inspiration here, spirit, for Libra? Two of Cups. What I said. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what I say in the beginning? I just said that. Four, four, four o'clock. Temperance child. I just said that. Why they gonna be sitting over there stuck, trapped? 
you're going to be in a committed, long-term, successful marriage, relationship, partnership, business, whatever the fuck it is. It's a very beneficial partnership and it's divinely guided with the temperance. You guys are both going to be healed. So it's like, they, ah, ha, ha, you know, you don't have the relationship da, 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 that you want. It's like, well, that's fine. Four of Wands, exactly. You know, I hope you had a star. There it is. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. <laughs> I'm saying somebody here really just they played for they played themselves four of cups four of pentacles and they're mad because you're rejecting them or something you're leaving a stupid ass out in the cold somebody has been trying to I said I don't even know what the fuck I said <laughs> but they try they've been trying to hold on to you or hold back or control you and have you to miss uh miss opportunities because I feel like it's because they they want you and you don't want them somebody here is mad like bitch get over it with your raggedy ass bitch that she's sitting over there with that you don't like <laughs> fucking losers both of y'all what's the day yeah ace of cups justice your karmic justice is coming in okay what's inspiration i, I don't i can't today yeah four of wands and these read every reading i did okay there they coming back up every reading that i've done today has been so fucking long <laughs> i am tired now but taurus energy or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we got somebody can have an Aries, Venus here. So, yes, I see marriage, stability. If that's what you've been hoping and dreaming with this inspiration, hopes and dreams. Okay, some of y'all could be doing like D, I'm about to say DUI, damn, 1155 on the clock. Somebody could drink a lot. I hope not. Or don't drive with open bottles of liquor in your car and don't be driving all crazy drunk or whatever. Be careful. But I meant to say DYI, DYI projects. You could be renovating or painting or like creating certain things around your home some of y'all could be getting new a new home so congrats okay but this could definitely be marriage something long term stable secure okay definitely a lot of financial security your business could be flourishing some of y'all get ready to get married okay get ready to get married there could be i don't know you could be celebrating and spending time with family friends definitely meeting people of your soul tribe like your dreams are getting ready to manifest you're ready to come true. What's the four of wands? <laughs> you graduated from something. You didn't did something. There's a goal that's getting ready to be achieved or has. Yep, the star child. Look at that. Look at that. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I always get that with y'all. You always dealing with an Aquarius. What's the four of wands with the, the star? Or you got it somewhere highly isolated. Four of pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like there's something, some of y'all could have healed, healed from um, having like control issues here. The star with the four of pentacles, you could have, oh, let me not put that up there. <laughs> you could have healed from having control issues, okay? Mm. I feel like somebody has been trying to control you or keep you stuck because they want you to themselves, but you're not meant to be by yourself or isolated or anything like that. I feel like you're meant to be seen, heard, recognized. You could be an inspiration to other people, very motivational to others, okay? You could be a healer, so you could have people that, like, fuck with you um, and things like that in a community or, like, whatever whatever community you're a part of, you're finally meeting people that you resonate with, that you can actually partner with and grow with, it sounds like. Friendships, relationships, business partnerships, whatever. I feel like whatever it is that you want is coming through, Okay. Yeah, you've healed from, this is like self-discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups. Some of y'all are seen in a public eye though. You could be holding back on a gift that you need to put out there. Some of y'all are saving for a house though. This is going to be nice too. This is going to be like your dream home. Your dream relationship, dream marriage, whatever. You could be saving though for a house. But what's the King of Pentacles? Yeah, healing. This is so nice. Five of Cups in reverse. Healing. You ain't tripping off nobody or anything. I feel like you're stable. You're grounded. It's just good energy. Just period. Five of Cups in reverse is you didn't heal. You ain't tripping or crying over nothing. What's the King of Pentacles with the Five of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Hierophant, child. Yeah. I feel 
are this two Libra, you're finally getting ready to meet somebody that's healed. They came healed or they're actively healing. And they're going to show you with their actions that they're healing. So like their communication, they're not going to get in their ego and ghost you or they're not going to do this and that. I feel like somebody's going to be really devoted and loyal or this is you. You've learned some sort of like lesson or something. Strong Taurus is here as well as Aquarius. Somebody could be a Capricorn sun too or have a Scorpio Mars placement. But you've healed here. You've learned some sort of lesson. Some of y'all could have a spiritual business. Okay, you could be a spiritual practitioner, you could read tarot, you could do palmistry, you could do um you could do herbs, you could study herbalism, or you could do magic, okay? You could be, yeah, a practitioner. Okay, but the hierophant is definitely commitment, it's devotion. I feel like you are very committed to what your contract is in this lifetime, your purpose. Okay, you you've done a lot. Okay, so your ranking is just going up day by day. Every time you didn't pass a test, yeah. You could be an earth angel here with the temperance. Yeah, that's what cuts. There's a relationship. Or you could be meeting an earth angel like you. Okay, but nonetheless, <laughs> I feel like uh, you learned some sort of lesson here. So, honey. <laughs> yeah, five of wands, ten of pentacles. Of course, somebody's fighting, arguing over something that's yours. It's not theirs. So there's a lot of wisdom here you've gained. I feel like you're getting ready to align and go into a contract where their values and their morals align with yours finally. <laughs> okay, like I'm getting finally because it's been a long time coming. I'm serious, but let's see. We'll save yourself. You are enough solo path. Yeah, the lovers. <laughs> yeah, in reverse. Mm, they naked. Okay, hurry up. We'll save. We'll save yourself if you are enough. So okay. Okay, yeah, the moon. Gemini, here we got Cancer, Pisces. Yeah. So this is you. These are majors coming out. Oh, well, that's only two right there, but there's two more. But, anyways, um, this is a disunion, a breakup, a separation. So you could have ended a relationship here with somebody um, because it's not equally yoked. It's not equally balanced, okay? Mm, something here that just puts you in your feelings, your emotions. It causes a lot of fear. I feel like um, somebody somebody here refuses to like take accountability for something and they're hiding something. This could be somebody that you connected with or you know that you just recently released or something like that. You could be... They don't even have to be physically around. I feel like they're not. But emotionally, they still have a hold on you. And there could have been fear of releasing this person for whatever reason. Okay? Something like that. And they just refuse. I feel like you don't even trust this person. But whatever this is you were holding on to is keep, was keeping you trapped or stuck. And stopping you from actually like um growing and coming into union with yourself, okay? Something has just been unbalanced for a while. Imbalanced, I meant, for a while. Somebody keeps lying about something, though. They keep hiding something. And they're not being, they're not, they're, they're just not being honest about uh, probably a third party or like something. What's the lovers in reverse? 12 or 2 on the clock. The Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. You could be just walking away from like uh, connections that fulfill you sexually, but they don't really, nothing is really going on with it. It's like, it doesn't have any substance. Okay. So that could be the case too, which is nice. Uh, someone could have a Pisces Jupiter. I feel like you pulling back and just focusing on self-love, self-care really just trying to understand your own damn energy, who you are without having these people around or this person around. It's really uh, bringing you to a conclusion. And the conclusion is you're concluding this fucking relationship or this connection. <laughs> that shit is over with. Okay, that's just period. That's just period. Like, this is you pampering yourself, really enjoying your own company. Ace of Swords, though, is you coming. This is like some sort of breakthrough. It's clarity. There could be a wish coming in. Definitely wish fulfillment. Now that you've released something or just accepted that somebody is just not your match. 
something else could be coming in. It's brewing or something. It's brewing. What's the, the moon? Yeah, judgment, six of cups. Yeah, you're calling judgment on something from your past or you're forgiving somebody or something from your past by healing your inner child. Okay, it's like you could be doing things that you used to do that always made you happy. Just celebrating yourself. It's helping you to heal in some way. I feel like it's just somebody here abandoned you or something like that. They neglected you and still they're not taking accountability. So it's just like you're just chalking it up as a loss. And it's really not a loss. It's just you feel that way because you wanted it to be something that is just not... Yeah, I feel like you started getting selfish with your time, your energy. You saved yourself, just period. What's the moon? <laughs> like, okay, yeah, three of cups. Yeah, that's like being scared of being lonely by yourself or feeling like you're never going to meet somebody that's going to be for you. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles with the wheel. The seven of cups and the devil, that's an illusion. <laughs> that's not that's not real. It's like it feel, I feel like you've been stuck in a connection somewhere or connected to somebody that's just never coming around. They never come around. It's always the same shit, you know, every year or every day, every month, every week. It's always the same shit with this person. Somebody here could be definitely lying about a third party though. They're lying about a third party. And I just feel like even if they don't tell you the truth, I just feel like you're just going to not make up your own truth. But I feel like you're just going to be accepting that something just will never or it's not right now, probably for a long time. You're never going to get the full truth out of somebody or you already know the truth, Ace of Swords, but you're getting answers intuitively, but you just don't want to believe it or something like that. I just feel like, child. And whatever this truth is, I feel like it's going to cause you to not trust this person anyway. Whoever this is. Excuse me. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they're a cheater, a liar. You could have met somebody and this person could have made you a third party in their situation. So they were cheating on somebody that they were with and they kept all this drama going for their own selfish game, for their own personal game. It's, it's what it sounds like. Somebody's a loser. And that this is why, yeah, you're going to get karmic justice for this. Three of Cups in Reverse is like an affair. There could be some gossiping going on here. There's a lot. There's something more to whatever this gossip is. If there's gossiping going on, you, you still don't know the truth about it. It's because somebody's just leaving you out of the loop. And you're thinking like, oh, okay, well, this person is for me or they, they got my back or they, no they don't this person is a fucking loser and they just in this shit for their own selfish gain whoever this is they, they about to piss me off so before i let me just hurry up what's the moon <laughs> with the three of cups in reverse yeah knight of cups yeah somebody could be aquarius pisces cusper someone could have an Aqu uh, a cancer mercury placement in their chart somewhere too but this person, they came towards you possibly very charming. Somebody here has feelings for you. But how, though? Whoever this is is a cheater. They put on, they're very charming with this Knight of Cups. What's this Three of Cups in reverse? Yeah, I'm saying percent reverse. Whoever this is in this King of Swords, you could be dealing with yeah, an Aquarius is strong. Or Gemini Libra, another Libra, but I'm getting Aquarius really strong. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius. So yeah, this temperance in reverse is talking about imbalance, something that's imbalanced. I feel like there's a third party here antagonizing you. And also like they're trying to keep you separated from somebody that you're probably meant to be separated from anyways. Any any damn way, okay. That's an imbalance. That's like overindulgence too. So is the three of cups in reverse. Somebody, somebody is really just selfish, okay. They only think about themselves. They don't give a fuck about nobody else. 
that's sad. That really is sad when you find out that somebody don't really care about you like how you thought. This is this person is a loser and they need to be staying where the, wherever the fuck they came from. You need to send their ass back wherever the fuck they, they came from. Just period. Somebody can have a sex addiction like they overindulge and that's what they're hiding from you or they're hiding something about this third party. I don't fucking know. But this is why you can't connect with them no more. Just period. It's over. <laughs> it need to be over. Anyways. Yeah. Something that you... I don't know if you're in denial about something with this person. And you know, they do this shit. This is abusive. Whoever this is, they are cold, aloof, elusive, or nonchalant. Like they don't give a fuck. And I feel like that's enough for you to understand that they're just a loser. I feel like your, your spirit team is giving you clarity about this person. Something that you're not seeing about them or you're in denial about it. It's, it's at a stalemate. It's stuck. I feel like whatever you're not seeing is being exposed now. Okay, it's being exposed in order for you to come into balance with yourself because they're not, they're not, they're they're just not it. Okay, they're not it. And they're, they're quiet. They act like they don't care. It's like, nah, you don't want nobody like that. And that's what I, I feel like you're saying that to yourself. Like, nah, you know, I really don't want nobody like that. No matter how much I like this person or love them or whatever the fuck, I'm going to love you from over here. Somebody just lost, it feels like. Yeah, the death card, it's over. Yeah, and as soon as that ends, I feel like something good coming. <laughs> as soon as, as quick as that ends, something else comes in. I feel like spirit just been waiting on you to give something up. And to actually, like, heal and... Because I feel like they've been a part of the problem. But I'm trying, I, I'm getting something else. That's why I keep being stuck here. I'm getting something else. That could be what you're doing. Like, I know there's something else. You're trying to dig for information. They find something out and then nothing is ever coming up. It's just because it's time for you to move on. Something about that situation is not for you. All of it's not for you. Mm -hmm. It was for you in that season of your life. Now it's over. Mm. yeah somebody just they they cheating on somebody else that they would they i feel like somebody could have an open relationship or something it's like they want you to be a part of their little gang and it's like boy bye girl bye get the fuck out of here I mean, nothing, no shade, but I'm just saying we don't, somebody don't want that shit. <laughs> you don't want to be a part of it. What the fuck? Off your throne, regain your power, spirit. What's that? Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, this is you realizing that you're the prize. Why are, why is that, why are they not treating me like I'm the prize? That's what I'm saying. Like, somebody got you fucked up. Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. Yeah, two of Cups. I strongly just feel like this is you coming into union with yourself. It's, it feels really good. It really does feel really, really good here. Some of you guys could be healing a father wound with the emperor and the six of cups and the strength card. Yeah, it's like you're doing something with your inner child. Page of wands, getting out there, having fun, making new, exciting plans for yourself, maybe working on a creative project. But some of y'all are overcoming some sort of abandonment wound, it feels like. 12, 12, 1 o'clock. Mm, what's off your throne here? Regain your power with the three of wands. Seven of pentacles. Evaluating. Self-evaluation here. Kind of like being at a crossroads. <clears throat> but it's, I feel like this is more so you questioning something, reviewing it, taking a second look at it, reassessing. Okay. Looking at all the time and effort and energy you put into something and wondering why something is not growing is because you're meant to move forward. It's like, I feel like you just know it's something else out there, something else for you to be doing. And that's true. You're not meant to be stuck with this shit. This person is hiding a lot. Whoever this is, they, they deserve, they, they need their ass beat. Whoever the fuck this is that put you in this shit, they need their ass beat for real. And they are going to get their ass beat at the end of the day. Karma is going to strike. Just period. So the three of wands is like having a sense of foresight too. It's moving on, moving forward, feeling confident and self-assured. You guys could be traveling, moving. 
Okay, somebody could be paying for a trip or something. Somebody here too could be at a, at a distance from you. <laughs> Some of y'all have this idea where you're like, okay, well, they're at a distance, they're coming. They're gonna come and we're gonna move in together and be happy. No, <laughs> it's something else for you to be doing. Let this person go be a fucking lame. This is three of wands. It actually feels very sad. Yeah, Will of Fortune, exactly. It's faded and it's destined for you to move forward here. You learned the karmic lesson from it. Yeah, Eight of Cups. It's just time for you to emotionally detach because you're not being emotionally satisfied in the situation anyways. <laughs> they always make you feel lonely. They're never around when, they, when, when you need them. If somebody you can't depend on, they just do whatever. They do whatever the fuck they want to do. <laughs> They show up to you, to you one way and then they go behind your back and do something else. Somebody's a loser. They're really a fucking clown. Accept it. Mm -hmm. Please accept it. Okay. Who is the three of wands with the Wheel of Fortune? So there's changes that are happening. Yeah, Queen of Cups. This is you. This is you opening your heart again, I feel. Being open hearted. Still being compassionate. Not being a bitch about shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you could definitely curse this bitch out and tell them about themselves, but you don't. That's not even your vibe. I just feel like you move accordingly. That's it. And because you have you um you kept your heart open and you didn't um fly off the handle or you know what I'm saying, you're getting something good. Something good is coming in. Your abilities could be heightening too. You could feel something coming. It's like you've been in search for something, but it's been within you the whole time. So that was what had to happen first. You had to come into union with you. Like you had to really start loving on you and putting this shit to rest in order for something else to come in. You're you're getting ready to reap what you've sown. All the work that you put into yourself and, and other people and they didn't give it back, you're getting ready to get it back in and, and whatever way spirit is bringing it in. Yeah, this could be actually in like a marriage, your business. It could be anything, but there's a lot of prosperity and wealth and abundance here just for sure yeah so this is good what's the seven of pentacles right here spirit what's the seven of pentacles for um libra okay that one's come out i ain't even gonna look at it child what's the seven of pentacles ace of wands yeah a new passion of beginning a new passion of beginning okay and then i just seen the king of cups and who is that with okay I just, okay, Queen of Wands. I wanted to come out so bad. <laughs> Queen of Wands and a Death card. I feel like this is more so talking about um, somebody here could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could have an Aries in the eighth house. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, when I just see these two cards. But this is you feeling confident, okay, about... You, this is you feeling self-empowered and confident about ending something. Something is over. Something is transforming within you too. And then we got the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. That That's who's matching this king, this Queen of Cups. That's what's coming in. Somebody that's going to match your vibe. Stable, secure, emotionally mature, ready to open their heart just like you. That's a new beginning. That's what I'm saying. This is so nice. I almost want to cry. <laughs> but I'm on camera now. I'm definitely not crying in front of y'all. Y'all, I'm going to turn my head like that. <laughs> like I'm not going to be sitting up here crying like that honey. it's easier to cry off the camera <laughs> than on it but yeah so let me see what's the seven of pentacles with the ace of wands six of pentacles in reverse yeah you're realizing that things are passionate but never enduring it's like you never get reciprocal energy ever you're waiting on somebody to reciprocate energy and all they want to do is have sex or something. Ace of Wands. Somebody is not, they're non-committal. They don't want to commit. They don't even want to commit to the bitch that they're cheating on. Whoever this is. Like, or however it's going for you. However it's going. Someone can have a Taurus moon. Whoever this is too, it's like they try to, they abuse their power. They abuse their power. They can only be coming to you for money and sex. This person is broke. They ain't got shit going. Or these are people that you've been meeting. And it's just like, it's just been a mess. <laughs> but this Six of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that abuses their power. And they use sex and they want to do it. Okay. Um, somebody that's really ingenuine. 
okay like they give you shit but they want something in return so it's not really coming from the heart <laughs> these are people that do this to you or a particular person that you've been dealing with Somebody just feels like you gullible, you're naive, okay? That you're going to sit. You could be waiting for this person to kiss ass, kiss your ass. It, it's like they're never going to do it because they don't give a fuck. Their ego is big. Child, it's just pathetic. I feel like you're looking at two. Um, let me see some. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Some of y'all... Some of y'all have a new creative project you want to do because you're lacking. There's like employment, uh, unemployment here, possibly. You can have a special gift or something that you need to look at. Within. It's something that you know how to do. But let's see. Maybe you don't have the money for it or the support. I don't know. But what's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like that's just ingenuity. Like somebody's ingenuity. Yeah, Ten of Swords. <laughs> somebody here betrays you here they breadcrumbs you they were fake as fuck somebody is just pathetic i just cannot yeah the devil what's this ace of wands <clears throat> yeah four of cups in reverse yeah this is you moving out of a stalemate <laughs> that's you moving out of a stalemate here okay you're moving out of a stalemate and and seizing opportunities and going towards your new beginning this is you feeling confident empowered Okay, I feel like this is you coming out of this energy where you had low self-esteem or insecurities. Having fun. This is like, have, yeah, fun, spontaneity, doing something you never did before. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody here too. What's this Six of Pentacles in reverse with this Ten of Swords? I feel like there's a lot of people here that betrayed you. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. For some of you, okay, I was getting that. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody here, okay, this King of Wands in reverse. Whoever this is right here, this is this jealous ass. This could be a man that's jealous. This could be like your ex or something like that, Libra. I don't know. It could be a man or woman. Flip the roles. But this person, you know, is jealous as fuck of you. This person has been hexing and cursing your love life to where as though you're with people that are not giving you equal give and take. Okay. This could be somebody that's kind of like narcissistic. They're a bully. They're abusive for some of you. Very bitter person. This person is bitter as hell. So this could be where like deep pain stems from. And, you know, ever since you left this person, you've been um, dealing with the same kind of soul, just in different bodies. But they embody this King of Wands energy. Somebody that's just lazy as fuck. They're codependent. They're slow as fuck. And they're a fucking user and abuser. And for some of you, this person is a damn warlock. This person, I feel like somebody has been hexing and cursing and stealing and all kind of shit. So you're taking your power back by going out to you're transmuting energy some 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 way somehow. That's what I've been getting a lot. You're learning how to transmute this energy. Like somebody wants you to stay isolated or miss opportunities or whatever. You're not. You're still keeping your heart open and moving forward, which is good. That's how you're going to regain your power. Don't when you feel the energy of like like if you've been closed up and and closed off a lot, staying in the house. You know, being a homebody, I'm a homebody too, but if you've been closed off, not meeting new people, not having new experiences, not exploring your options with the Seven of Cups, and a situation has been keeping you stuck and confused, you need to quickly reverse that. You need to do the opposite of what your mind is, is telling you to do, because this is what somebody is playing on. Whoever this is, who this King of Wands in reverse? Who this person? Six of Swords. So yeah, you could be healing from this person. It's been a long journey healing from this bitch. This Six of Swords. You guys will be saying 666. That's someone that likes to abuse their power. And this person is broke as fuck. They ain't got shit to be fucking using. Bitch, what the fuck? Very ingenuine, nasty person. Well, if you don't do something for me, then I'm going to do this and that. Or, 
if you do this for me, I, like somebody is just so ingenuine. They're a loser. Give me one of those King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. The devil in reverse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You've broken some sort of something that this person was doing to you. This person was a big part of your journey. You've healed it. Yeah, Queen of Wands, that's you. Scorpio and the, I mean, the Death card, the Hermit and the Page of Swords. Yeah, and the Justice, Three of Swords. You guys could have took this person to court for some of you. But you release the pain associated with this person and the betrayals and the hurt. This person is a loser. They definitely betrayed you though. And I feel like it's because they're, they were doing some shit behind your back. They've been hexing and cursing your fucking finances and your damn relationships. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the devil in reverse, you took your power back. They keep, they keep, they could have just did something. They sent something out. And I feel like it's repetitive too, because why are you always being put in third party situations? Like why is it why is it never balanced? You feel what I'm saying? It's some sort of trust issue here, or abandonment wound, or <clears throat> there could be too, like where it's like you haven't taken accountability for allowing yourself to be a victim in a situation. I know that sounds weird, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. Like why stay victim to something you know like it happened and it could have hurt really bad yeah what i just say victim mindset somebody that's stuck restricted trapped feeling victimized like they silenced yeah whoever this is somebody from your past man eight of swords the strength card the six of cups and the five of wands this person is chaotic as hell and they got other people involved too they do like this person they had a strong hold over you i feel Yeah, in your mind, like, child, I cannot. <laughs> I really cannot hear. Mm. <sighs> Let's see, Lord. What's mystery, confusion, unclarity? Yep, Ace of Cups. And then we have that King of Cups. Again, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's being blocked out of your energy. Could be a Virgo. Somebody could be a... Leo, Virgo, Cusper. What's the mystery, confusion, unclarity? So this is, like I said, this is what they've been doing, trying to cause confusion with your love life or the love that you have for yourself. Whatever it is. I feel like you're going through some sort of spiritual upgrade too. What's this mystery with this Ace of Cups? The Eight of Pentacles. Self-mastery, working on something within yourself. You've mastered something within yourself and it's self-love. That's what this is. Literally, and then now you're getting ready to beat somebody or go into a union with a, a real lover, like somebody that's going to really care for you. Yeah, Queen of Cups, I mean, Queen of Pentacles. There's the Queen to the King. Wow, very deep reading, child. <laughs> like, I'm trying not to sit up here and do the most. What's this Ace of Cups? Yep, Six of Wands, victory, success. You're whole again. It's like you're coming back home to yourself. You're whole, you're complete. The Empress, the High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, the Judgment, wow, and the Emperor. <laughs> this is nice as hell. Like some of you guys are in Twin Flame Unions. You passed your test. Like you cleared out so much karmic debt. Okay, or you getting ready to meet your person? Like it doesn't have to be twin flame, whatever. I don't even try. I don't even be wanting to give titles. I'm just gonna say somebody that really matches your energy, whole, fully and completely. Okay, because titles really confuse a lot of people. I see that now. Whoever don't match your energy is not the person you're meant to be with. So that way you can look at it like, oh, my twin flame is still separated. We're still separated, and I'm waiting, and I'm da 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 da. -da. Then that's not your person. <laughs> like that's not your person. It's not. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's just not. And if it is, it'll come later. You'll see it later. But if it's not showing up right now, you still need to move on. Just period. 
Just talking from experience, because that's my, that's my own. I'm on a twin flame journey. I know a lot about it. I've gained a lot of wisdom over these last past five years of my own twin flame journey. And um, it is what it is. <laughs> like, that's all I can say about it. But yeah, you have a lot of suitors. What's the Ace of Cups with the Six of Wands? You've matched something so much so that when you meet people, it's like, it's different now. You can make genuine connections. People that are going to support you, cheer you on, root for you, like all kind of shit. So whatever, yeah, the Three of Pentacles, real partnerships, collaborating, teamwork, partner, partnering up here. You learning from your past mistakes. So now whatever partnerships you go into is going to be nice. They're going to be really nice. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Tower in Reverse. What's the Eight of Pentacles Tower in Reverse? Aries. <laughs> yep, Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you could be walking away. Some of y'all could be traveling for sure. But you could be walking away from somebody that keeps being a player. Like they're in and out of your life time and time again. Okay, somebody. Somebody has been playing around with your love life. They have though. Like somebody has been trying to steal every kind of relationship you get. They've been trying to really, really, really insert themselves, okay, and just get in the way because they're jealous, all right. There could be somebody here that, you're lo that you love, though. There could be a connection here where you love somebody, but you're learning unconditional love, okay, and because they keep running. Somebody keeps running from the relationship, and you're just like, okay, well, to avoid your own tower, you're going to keep working on yourself. But this, I feel like somebody is definitely like, trying to steal something from you because they don't want to lose you. So they feel like if you're, if you're really matched up with your person, they they lost you for good. And that's true, bitch. That's true. You're right. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Somebody's, let me see something real quick. Somebody here, I feel like, what's this, uh... This is an illusion. Whatever it looks like it's real love to you or whatever you've dealt with in the past is not. It's phony as fuck. What's that seven of swords? Some of y'all could be keeping a relationship to yourself or keeping it quiet or that's what you will be doing. Yeah, the ten of swords. I mean, ten of wands. What's the seven of swords, ten of wands? You avoided a tower here and it's got somebody else tripping. Yeah, two of swords. Something came out. Something came out. Something has been revealed. I feel like this is also, too, you've been running away from, like, it's some sort of, like, residue or pain that's still left over. It could be anxiety. It could be sh different things that are stressing you out. Yeah, with the two of swords in reverse. It's extra, like, baggage or dead weight here that you're releasing with this um, ten, of, ten of wands. So if somebody has been hexing and cursing you, that shit is, is, is over because you're doing the work to release whatever resentment or grudge that you could be holding against somebody. You're learning how to unconditionally love and forgive, which is hard. A lot of people don't know how to do that shit. 1232 on the clock, they don't. They stay stuck and trapped and they stay mad forever. I feel like that's not you. Hmm. This is a very deep reading, child. What the hell? The Tower 2 is an inevitable change. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if this is a relationship where somebody kept running and shit like that, I feel like you're just done with it. You're learning how to accept that for what it is, and you're just going to keep working on you, and which is going to lead you to you enjoying your life going forward. <laughs> like... That's, um... No, a nice guy who always gets friend zone. This could be guy or girl. Doesn't have to be guy. Making it work. Melania gets obsessive and attached to others mm, and avoiding. So yeah, I feel like uh, 
Somebody could have friend, friend zoned you to go make it work with a millennia. Okay, somebody that, that's obsessive and gets attached to others. Or this could just, could just talk about simply like rejection. Like you always get friend zoned by people and you try to make it work. But then people like they, they're not grown enough or mature enough to want to make it work. Then you get attached. You try to keep pushing to make it work. And then it just never goes anywhere. That could be a lesson here that you're learning. What's nice, Scott? What's Noah? Desire. Yeah, sexually driven emotions. <laughs> Looking amazing. Yeah, you know trauma unhealed wounds exactly this person whoever this person is or these people are that you've met or dated in the past they always come with this like exterior like they're such a good person and then they try to they, they see you they get intimidated then they try to friend zone you or reject you like oh hold on bitch you're not all that it's like and then you you look at yourself you be like well damn i regret even fucking with you or giving you anything because you really are a fucking clown like, how the fuck are you going to try to reject me? And you know I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Just <laughs> like, then to go fuck with, like, that's what I'm saying. It's something like that. That be happening. People get intimidated or scared of your energy. But they get in your face, though, for something else. For your looks and your sex. But they won't want to commit. One, two, three, four on a clock. What's making it work here? Somebody's insecure as fuck, though. They like how you look, like I said. This could be multiple people. They like how you look, but they never want to commit. Yeah, Emma, classy, loyal, wifey material. That's you. Who's making it work with Emma? Or somebody knows. And then we have Austin here. <laughs> Provides a fantasy and is usually the other woman. That's what I'm saying. Lorenzo, he'll sweet talk you, but he's only after one thing. Somebody wants their cake and they eat it too. They want to have sex with you, but they want to go home to their family. Whoever this is. Or these could be other people. Like, this could, this could be a pattern with people that you meet. Child, it's the audacity for me. What's Melania? Deceiving you? Yeah. And then, child, and then they try to make you look like you crazy because you're chasing. You know what I'm saying? You're you're then the chaser because they abandoned you. So then you're like, okay, well, what do I got to do to make it work? Let's make it work. I'm willing to talk. I'm willing to da, da 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 It's like the fucking audacity of you, bitch. Uh, the, the fucking audacity to make you look like... To make, to make it seem like I'm chasing you or on your dick when you're the one that came over here. Somebody, that shit, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the kind of shit that you've been going through is what it sounds like. What's millennia with deceiving you? I cannot. Seductress, yeah. <clears throat> somebody here could be being seduced by somebody else, but they know that you're classy and, and loyal and wifey and whatever the fuck else they, they feel like you are. They can't, they want to go fuck on that person, but want to have something... I don't know. Somebody don't know what the fuck they want. And this is why you need to release them. Or you have. Any kind of relationship that, that's like this, it needs to be released. Just period. Now somebody, yeah. Problems, relationship issues, and regretting it now. They stuck with somebody that they got a problem with. Now y'all got problems and you're not fucking with them at all. It's just like somebody is stupid as fuck. Somebody or these people. It could be multiple people. All of them probably did the same shit. Mallory, guarded, yeah, and nervous to let people close. Yeah, because of abuse. Abusive, manipulative, toxic. That's what I'm saying. Let me see, what else? Delphine, exactly. She'll build an empire and in business and at home. That's what I'm saying. You got everything going for yourself. Everything going for yourself. Why the fuck are you still closed off? Wow, yeah. Hmm. That's what it was. Like, you haven't, you've just been existing and not living your life. You haven't been going out. You haven't been doing this. You haven't been doing that. you just been staying away from everybody. You can't do that. Somebody here likes that, too. Whoever this narcissist is, they like that. They like the fact that you're closed off. Romeo, romantic and expressive. Yeah, you could be meeting somebody. You could be meeting somebody. Yeah, with good intentions. Wow, I would say good intentions. Oscar, loyal, supportive, caring, and long-term. <laughs> yep. Elodie, warm, empathetic, and fair, and not texting, communication problems. So you could have communication problems, or the people that you deal with always have communication problems, because it said that you're fair. 
What's uh Mallory? Oscar. Loyal, supportive, and caring. And new love, child, I'm telling you. New love. Then we got snake. Yeah, intimacy, friends with benefits. That's what I'm saying. Like these, this that be these snake ass hoes that never know what they want or want to keep have like fucking on people but not wanting anything serious. That's crazy. What's Delphine waiting for the right time? What's Delphine here waiting for the right time? Dating, spending time together. What's waiting for the right time? addicted that's what i'm saying whoever this is they got you waiting they're coming they're trying to come back they're waiting for the right time to, to, for you to come back to you after you didn't level up your life you probably got a new job new car new home you leveling up you're taking care of your kids like you're doing what you got to do this person feel like you're going to sit back at home and wait for them to come back or do whatever the fuck while they go do whatever the fuck they want to do absolutely the fuck not whoever this is they got to go somebody has lost their mind what's Romeo, romantic and expressive. It's an, it's a no, bitch. Yeah, thin, immature, erratic, and moody. What's Romeo? Harboring ill will. What's Romeo's ass doing, child? <laughs> I'd be so fucking over it. Yeah, avoiding. Yeah, avoiding you. They come in. Like, that's that Night of Cups energy. They come in all sweet and shit like that. And then, and I feel like it's because... They got somebody else at home that's getting on their fucking nerves. They come over there and deal with you when they feel like it. Somebody here, I don't like them, Libra. Hey, you need to stop liking them too. Somebody's a fucking clown. And they're a user and they're pathetic. Okay. They got somebody that's harboring ill will against them and all that. And it's just like, okay, well, go deal with that shit. Go deal with those bitches that got those kind of problems. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't come over here wanting whatever the fuck I got. Fucking user, opportunist. That's what they sound like. Feeling bad and axle. Non-emotional man's man. Child, then take your non-emotional ass back where the fuck you came from. I feel like that's the kind of attitude y'all need to carry. Fuck you and I'm the fuck up out of here. That's what you need to say. Fuck you and I'm moving on. Whoever this person is, I swear... As soon as you move on from them, there's a wish that's going to come in. And it's going to be somebody that's going to match where you're at or match what you want. You say you want this, you want that. I want somebody that's going to be emotionally available, vulnerable, da 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 But then you're still dealing with somebody that's emotionally unavailable. It's not making sense. You got to make sure you're in alignment. And sometimes doing that, most of the time, really, you got to sit with yourself and be like, okay, well, why do I keep entertaining certain kind of people? You know? And this is some deep healing that needs to be done or it has been done already for some of you. Yeah, quick change in movement. Yeah. Stop reaching out. Meeting, get together in person. What's this quick change in movement? Elda. Yeah, her past has worn her down, but she still fights on. So that's you. That's you still moving forward. Like, you're going to pick yourself back up, start going out, and start getting yourself together. Stop sitting at home crying. Yeah, exactly. Meeting somebody new. That's what you need to be doing. Meeting new people. Making new friends. Really, really work on yourself and your communication and whatever else that you feel. Whatever is triggering your abandonment issues and things like that. Keep working on it. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Take it slow. Chill. Take it slow. I, I, I can see somebody saying that now. You know, chill. Chill. Just let's take it slow. You know what I'm saying? It's no rush. And bitch, fuck that. Where is the flow going? And why are we moving so fucking slow all the time? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what you mean, chill? Just so you could be a player? Player. Juggling romantic interests. Let's make up. This person here just keeps you stuck. Sabotage. Deliberately destroyed. It's just like, fuck you. <laughs> I hope I don't get flagged but I'm sad like somebody here be making me mad I really be getting irritated I'm serious what's uh stop reaching out Evan yeah everything is always on his terms excuse me bitch what's Evan let's stop reaching out with Evan this person just child if that's the person y'all waiting on I'm telling you today today get rid of it so right, right now while we in retrograde shadow period 
by the time the retrograde hit and then we go into the other shadow period when it ends you need to be fully and completely over this shit you need to release figure out what it is you need to work on and why you're still holding on to a hoe that ain't got no fucking sense substance and they superficial and they like hoes you're not a hoe right so move the fuck on shout out pushed away and facade yeah somebody's fake as fuck what's meeting getting together and get together in person for what yeah, Veronica, out your dirty little secrets. Yeah, this is this person that's sitting back behind your back meeting somebody else. Because it's something that this bitch is dangling over their head. Like, oh, I'm going to tell your business and I'm going to da 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 Bitch. You know what, Veronica? <laughs> or whoever the fuck this bitch is. You can keep your man. Your man came over here or your girl came over here with the bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Like, people always putting you in these fucked up predicaments. And then they got bitches attacking you from left and right. You don't even know what's going on. Because they done lied about their whole life. Just living double lives. What the fuck? Absolutely insane. What else? Yeah, now somebody overthinking. They panicking. Anxiety, overthinking, and panic. Fights, arguments, and tension. And false prophecy. Yeah, somebody got with a false ass hoe. <laughs> or they read you the wrong way. What's false prophecy? self-destruct mode exactly and trauma unhealed wounds actually you know false prophecy here to me is that's my spell work card in this deck so and then we got unhealed trauma and wounds with self-destruct somebody wanted you to self-destruct because like i said somebody down here is doing spell work here and they were just nothing but a catalyst for your growth that king of wands is a catalyst okay that person is very dark they operate out of their shadow they don't have any light within them i don't see it they do but it's gone it's deep down stuck somewhere <laughs> it's not there so this person was uh i feel like they've been doing kind of like magic on you or something like that to cause you to self-destruct and that's what you've been doing probably for a very little while until you got you know caught on to everything and healed yeah and did your fucking inner child healing yeah page of cups the strength card with the queen of wands that's what it is that you did Okay, knowing your worth, raising your self-esteem. What's this false prophecy right here? Yeah, tension behind the scenes <laughs> in reverse. What's the false prophecy with the tension behind the scenes in reverse? Jason, he's always only going to hurt you in the end. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's something that's been going on here with, that's been trying to keep you stuck in this mindset of like, oh, well, I'm going to get hurt, so I might as well just stay to myself. I'm always going to get hurt. So let me just say to myself, it's always going to be the same shit time and time again. That's what this worldly shit is. That's what people are going through. And they're stuck in this matrix. They're stuck thinking like that. This is why it, it kind of like, it makes you want to isolate yourself. It do. It makes you not, not even want to be bothered because people are so fucking lost and slow as fuck and just stuck all the time. It makes you want to stay to yourself. But there's somebody here for you. There's plenty of people out here. There's plenty of good people. So you need to kind of like move on. So don't be stuck like everybody else. Do not. What's anxiety? Overthinking and panic. And now somebody is like, yeah, cautious. Yeah. But didn't I say something too about the anxiety to a swords in reverse? I said that. So you could be releasing or needing to release any like things that anything that is uh um any residue anything that's left over is going to be released probably around this retrograde because it's dead weight your way of thinking or doing certain things it probably needs to be released two of swords in reverse is also information overload like a lot of shit hitting you at one time but what's overthinking and panic cautious yeah checking you out in reverse astrid only accepts High standards of behavior. And that's you. Yeah, you, yeah. Reflection, giving things, thought, and consideration, and winning. Positive outcome in your favor. Exactly. You're not falling for this trap. What's checking you out in reverse? Why is that? Rekindling. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. If you're checking somebody out, I feel like you're not trying to rekindle anything. You don't give a fuck. Rekindling, giving things a go again. Or somebody here, I don't know what they were trying to do, but that's, it's not working. It's not. Somebody wants you to keep going back to past shit and past people, bitch, you're not. <laughs> What's arguments and tensions? Yeah, juggling options. And fence sitter, indecision and neutrality. Exactly. And third party. No. <laughs> 
Absolutely not. Y'all need to keep y'all third party hoes. Keep that shit somewhere else. People be really trying to make you a third party and they own shit because they're unhappy. I feel like you got two masculines or two feminines doing this shit here. <clears throat> they both got situations and they both still want you. <laughs> like they both, especially this King of Wands in reverse. This person here is stuck on you. And the soul tie is broken with this bitch. So I don't know, Libra. Let me know in the comments. Who's these people? <laughs> and where are, you, where are you at in your healing journey? Okay. Step into your power. Exactly. First quarter moon in Aries. That's what I'm saying. That's why I got Aries today chart. <laughs> okay. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. Yes. I love to see it. Full moon in Leo. Go wild. Period. <laughs> Have fun. Go wild. Leo is a very like out there kind of like sign like you just draw attention naturally you know what i'm saying you ain't got to do much to get attention just period new moon in cancer relax yeah somebody could have social anxiety okay you you could but i don't know like once i started going out by myself honey and not giving a fuck that shit just dissipated because i mean i just got to the point where i don't give a fuck <laughs> like that could be what you need to do stop caring all right first quarter moon in sagittarius believe in your good luck Last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. And that's exactly what you're doing. You don't need nobody around you to have a good time. You can do it yourself. You don't need to go out with nobody. You can do it yourself. And you know what's crazy? I'm thinking about that, Libra. That's something that I had a hard time doing for a long time. Like, is it weird? I used to ask people, like, is it weird going to the club by yourself? Or is it weird, like, like, say, because I'm not a big clubber, but, like, shit, I've been to, like, two or three recently. And, honey, I've been having a ball. Okay? Like, I... <laughs> I had fun because I'm not a big club, but that's something new for me, child. I got cute as hell. Did my little makeup or whatever the fuck, and I didn't went to the club, honey, and I've just been having me a good ass time. I don't give a fuck. I went with somebody. I did go with somebody though, but like a lounge. I went to like um a lounge, quite a few lounges by myself. Okay, and they get packed at certain times, so I would go out. But, but I'm just saying that to say, like, there could be something new that you need to do. It's going to help heal you in this energy, whatever this is right here. Because this staying closed off and holed up in your room and da 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 da, -da it's not going to... That's something that you always do, but you're, then you're still feeling, like, by yourself or lonely or something like that. It's like too much of that shit is not good. Handle your priorities and then get your ass out when you can. <laughs> okay? Like, you need to practice self-love. Do something that you've never done before. But, um, so yeah, I just felt the need to say that because some of y'all can need to do the same thing. Just don't give a fuck. Just go. Put on your clothes, get adequate rest, and get your ass up, okay? Don't overdo it. Have a good balance of everything, <laughs> okay? You're missing parts of the world and different people. You don't know who you're going to connect with when you go out. Yeah, moon, perception, exactly. Number 19. Yeah, seventh house. I was just about to say something about that. Because <laughs> I was just thinking about the fact that you are a Libra. So this is your seventh house. You're either your business partners, partnerships or your relationships here could be being affected. Because, yeah, Gemini, cross-pollinate and debilitated discomfort. Yeah, you're needed to kind of like put yourself out there. It's uncomfortable, but just do it anyway. Try it, start it, do it, whatever. You know, but... So it says the moon ruler of cancer speaks of the deeper, I mean, deep inner river of emotions. What motivates you, how you experience and express your feelings and how you nurture and need nurturance. And your astrological chart, the moon is, in, is as important as the sun, even though it's much smaller. By a coincidence of relative size and distance from our earthly perspective, the sun and moon, our symbols of consciousness and unconsciousness, appear to be the same size. And this proportion makes eclipses possible. The moon cycles through the zodiac in 27.5 days, changing signs every two days and coloring our moods, habits, and behaviors. So it says, for your action, first perceive what unspoken emotional inner calling and patterns drive you. Look to your own moon sign. When you cooperate with your moon's emotional motivation, you'll find it easier to walk in harmony with your path. Next, investigate the needs and wants of those around you, the emotions underneath the surface, excuse me, actually run this show. 
those primary drives are expressed through habits and actions, nuance, nuance and expression rather than through words. Look for that underground ocean. It carries the soul's energy. Speak to the insecurities that slow this process. Act in a way that helps others feel nurtured, warm, and emotionally connected. Make them feel at home. Tend the food, water, the home base. Like the moon, the energy in this situation will wax and wand. So assess the current phase and work through those cycles. Okay, so it says for your challenge, look to feelings rather than logic to move the situation forward. Notice any strange responses to anxiety, which is a touchy personal defenses, nepotism. I don't know how to say that word. I know it's not xenophobia. I forgot how to say that, but subjectivity or insecurity, either in your motivation or in those around you, tend to the fear that lies underneath these behaviors. Okay, yeah. Mm. For your gift, it says you are one with the ebb and ebb in the flow watch what sign the moon occupies each day and let the moon teach you about its phases align yourself with those ties and make your life easier hmm yeah okay well do what it said <laughs> do what the book said okay period that's why i like these books <sighs> so yeah rita uh i said rita somebody name could be rita <laughs> that somebody could be somebody that could be read a child but anyways libra that's what i meant to say this was your reading very deep reading but i hope it resonated for you hopefully you got some clarity about where you're at what you're doing okay definitely like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and i will talk to you guys later bye